All right, Holly, so I thought that this would be a way for me to uh, give you a look at the calculator thing I was talking about. But first things first, uh, in this case, you have to understand that anything you have to move, you can sort of just get everything to one side, combine like terms, that whole thing, and then you'd set it equal to y, which means now I can graph it. So I'm going to bring up the old emulator. I don't know why I decided to open up MS Paint. There we go. Anyway, here it is. So I'm going to go in and hit on to turn it on, and then go to y equals. Now I'm going to just type in x squared. So here's my x term, squared plus 4x minus 3. And then I can graph it. And as we talked about in our uh, little, you know, Skype-ish section, I guess, a uh, little session, I can actually figure out what these two points are because that would give me the answers. So I'm going to go in and hit second and trace and go to the thing that says zero because it was equal to zero before. So I just go to zero and it'll ask me a couple questions. It'll say, what's the left bound? Well, I want to know about this point right here. So I'm going to click my little button on the calculator until I get that X, as you can see it moving up and down the line, to the left side of it. You could go more or you know closer, whatever, just go to the left of it. And then it'll say, okay, go to the right of it. So here's the point. So now I'm to the right of it a little bit. Even more if we want. Hit enter. And then it'll say guess, because it crosses here and here. It just doesn't want to make it wants to make sure that it doesn't hit twice. So I'm gonna go there and hit enter and say right in here. And it says that it's zero at negative four point six four five, which is about negative four point six five. And on the other side of it, I just go in and say second trace again, go down to zero, click myself or my little button over until where it's you know sort of close to this on the left side. And then I want to go over to the right side, do that, go down to the guess section, hit enter, and it says somewhere about zero point six five that general area and we said that the answer was C when we did ours and you know for this answer right here it matches up perfectly so there's a way to get the answer for almost all of them uh, in some situations you may have to move a little bit more for instance if I had to do number 13 well I'd still want to get everything over I'd draw the line I'd subtract 20x squared ended up with negative 14x squared and then I'd have to move minus 32 over so I'd add it. I'm gonna do two steps in one which is a really bad strategy. Don't do this See on your own. I'm just space reasons I'm going to do it. Uh, 32 plus 13 gives me 45. Now I can go in and uh, graph these two, or graph this if I want, I'd go to y equals, because now this side would be equal to zero, so I could just clear it out, type in negative 14x squared, it'll be upside down by the way, minus 17x plus 45, and I just hit graph, and I'm going to look for those two points, so you can see one is positive and one is negative, so if any of the answer choices don't have that, like this one has two negatives, so you know it's not that. It's probably either D or, it's tough to tell, I think B is an option. And I'm dealing with the idea of finding out what those points are, so I'm going to say, yeah, I want the minimum or the zero value. I'm going to have to click a little while to see it. There it is. That's to the left of it. That's to the right of it, and I'm going to say my guess is around in there. I don't know. So it says negative 2.5. Uh, I could write that down over here, and then I can use it later. Um, when I need to know the other part of it, I would say, okay, so what's this term? Uh, the other zero, the left bound, I might click over so it's sort of... There it is, kind of right above it. Hit enter. My right bound would just be below it. 
and then my guess is somewhere in here. So it says 1.285. So now that I have those two, all I can, I mean, quickly I can go in and say, well, it's probably, um, and I accidentally erased it, that was stupid, but I remember one of them was negative 2.5. So I can go in back to here and quit out, so hit second quit, and then I just type in negative 2.5 and I hit the math button maybe and change it to a fraction it says negative 5.2 and then maybe I can just test well what's 9 divided by 7 if it's 1 point something I'm in good shape and it is 1.285 so my answer is B so there's just a way you can do it by graphing it and then just making a few little adjustments with your fractions if you ever have to put in a fraction just go here to the green button and then hit the Y equals and this little menu pops up. You can type in a fraction by just hitting enter and then start typing it in, moving the, around like the old Game Boy. So there it is.